you're, you're the first CTO yes, of the United States. And the president has a few things on his mind. The, yes. He's got a couple of wars, financial crisis, financial reform, health care reform, the BP oil spill. The list goes on and on. And so in all seriousness, yes. how do you get his attention on technology issues? Or, or put differently, why would he pay any attention to technology issues when he has all these other pressing matters? Well, in fact, I'll, I'll use his own words to answer this question. Uh, when the president made the judgments about where we would adv- uh, invest capital in the Recovery Act, he made the judgment to, in, to allocate $100 billion of the Recovery Act in longer-term prospects for economic growth, investments that weren't going to have the immediate effect in the same spirit but would move the country in a direction. And he picked health care IT, uh, the smart grid, high-speed rail, uh, work we were obviously doing more broadly in clean energy, So he made that investment judgment. He then, a month after the Recovery Act, he gave a speech at the National Academy of Sciences, first president to speak immediately after uh, coming on board, to deliver a vision for this country and challenge the public and private sectors to advance and invest 3% of the nation's GDP cumulatively between the public and private sectors to promote R&D and innovation. And then uh, in September, I had the pleasure of traveling with the president to uh, a community college in upstate New York. He unveiled a strategy for American innovation whose core mission was to look beyond the recovery and to think about a platform for sustainable economic growth and quality jobs. So this president has actually made the decisions with his actions that we should look to the future while we focus on the recovery in the here and the now. So, so let's unpeel some of that. The $100 billion, that's yes. a, about an eighth or a ninth of the, of the overall recovery package. Act. How much of that has already been spent or committed? So let me give you an example of an area where it's already had an effect and it hasn't even been spent yet. So I have been very deep in the area of healthcare IT. So uh, for many of you who know this, there's this sort of bipartisan view that if hospitals and doctors could connect more and see the productivity gains that the rest of the economy had seen in healthcare, uh, uh, and outside of healthcare, in healthcare, that we would bend the cost curve and improve quality. So the president said, we're going to put some incentives on the table to encourage hospitals and doctors to adopt, but, and here's the but, they have to demonstrate that they are meaningfully using the technology to advance a broader set of goals. For example, I didn't know if you know this, Adam, but right now there is no concept that says if you ask for a copy of your medical record that you're entitled to it in digital format. That is now one of the rules that we've put in place. So in 2009, we knew that money would be available starting in 2011, which is your question. The money will start flowing in 2011. But we would define the rules of the road in an open and collaborative model across 2009 going into 2010. And I think this had an effect in the industry. And I'm not going to use my opinion. Uh, National Venture Capital Association said that venture capital investments fell 31% in 2009. Healthcare IT was called out as up 37% in the same time period. And in the verbiage around this, it was attributed in part to the president's calling for uh, more innovation and more product improvement. And I believe the rules that we've put in place actually are improving Uh, more capital formation into this sector and actually will be a platform for economic growth going forward. So uh, we estimate 50,000 jobs may come out of this healthcare IT initiative as we see this strategy through from getting the rules right to investments that will come out in 2011. I'm totally satisfied and persuaded by your answer, but just just, just so, not in any sort of judgmental way, just to complete the thought, how much of the $100 billion has has been spent? So I should have this number off the top of my head. We do publish quarterly reports that explain exactly this figure. Uh, Christy Romer, the Council of Economic Advisors, published it uh, in July in her testimony. Um, If I were to do a back of the envelope, my gut instinct would tell me that we're in the 40 to 50 billion range of that. Uh, It's a little hard to say because a big chunk of that is in loan guarantees for clean energy projects that have been identified and they're going through the process uh, but may not yet be announced. So uh, financial support, loan guarantees for clean energy projects are obviously a significant portion of that, uh, of that capital. So forgive me for not having the immediate figure, but I will certainly report back uh, uh, the number. It's not $90 billion of uh-huh, 100. Uh-huh. I can assure you of that. Mm-hmm.